All right, so for this video, we are going to go over biasing transistors using a multimeter. What we'll want to do is shut our circuit off. So if we are plugged into an amp, we're not going to hear any pokes and pops from our test leads. We're going to get our multimeter on to 20 volt DC and get voltage going. As mentioned in a previous video, we have this courtesy ground here that'll give us our zero. And then when touching a lead, we'll make the full connection. There's our nine. That's great. But what we need to do is actually bias with a little screwdriver. And we don't have three hands, so we're gonna do a little cheat. We're gonna actually take the negative test lead and we're gonna touch it to the sleeve of one of the audio jacks because that's always grounded. Now that we've freed up a hand, we'll be able to adjust with one hand and measure with the other. So for this biasing, we're gonna to touch the collector and we need to get this down to 4.5 volts. So we're gonna make some small tweaks with our screwdriver until we get right about 4.5. It's about there. Second one, we're gonna do the same thing. Touch the collector and adjust with our screwdriver. Somewhere around 4.5. You'll be able to play with it more afterwards but that's gonna be our best starting point. There we are. And that's how we adjust the biasing for transistors in a breadboard using a multimeter.